Positivity. I can say for myself that I'm a pretty positive guy, but if you ask me, I really, I just don't know how. I'm the type of guy that's not affected by the opinions of others because as long as I know that what I'm doing is right and I love it, I won't stop doing it and no one can stop me. As they say, life gives you lemons. Life will put you in situations where you'll be depressed and you won't know how to get out of it, but your job is to always look at the situations with a positive attitude. I know it's easy saying it, but when you're in a situation, it's totally different, but you have to realize that there's always a reason for everything. And I know for myself that whenever I have those moments, all I want to do is roll up in a ball and hide and be depressed and listen to sad music, but you can't do that because life is beautiful. And by doing that, by hiding, it only makes you think deeper and therefore you become even more depressed, even more sad. You need to try to take the positive out of every situation and let that invigorate you and fill you with energy. Just think of positivity as a race. Whoever has a good start gets the head start in front of everyone, right? And if you're positive and you go with a positive mindset in any situation, you will always have a head start because you will be able to see the positive in the situation. But if you go in a situation with a negative attitude, you'll be able to see all the little negative things that bug you. And therefore, you'll be depressed and sad, even though there are positive things there. We each have that one thing that makes us happy. And for me, it's traveling, photography, videography, and capturing the moments, and also admiring the beauty of the world that surrounds me. That is one thing no one can take away from me. Even if my world is falling apart, I know that I can go outside by the water, sit by the ocean, put on some earphones, listen to some good music, and just contemplate on life because that's one thing no one can take away from you. And I'm sure you guys have that one thing that no one can take away from you. There's a beautiful book out there that I started reading. It's called The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. And I love it so much because it talks about positivity and it shows you things that you normally wouldn't see. And I separated this one article that I thought was really, really good and it affected me. So I wanted to read it to you guys and talk about it a bit and see what you guys think about it. So it goes like this. There's very little difference between burying and planting. For often, we need to put dead things to rest so that new life can grow. And further, the thing put to rest, whether it be a dream, a loved one, or a false way of seeing, become the fertilizer for the life about to form. As the well-used thing joins with the earth, the broken dream fertilizes the dream yet conceived. The old love fertilizes the new. The painful way of being that strapped us to the world fertilizes the freer inner stance about to unfold. There is always grief for what is lost and always surprise at what is to be born. But much of our pain in living comes from wearing a dead and useless skin, refusing to put it to rest, or from burying such things with the intent of hiding them rather than relinquishing them. I do not know if I said that word right. We live, embrace, and put to rest our dearest things, including how we see ourselves, so we can resurrect our lives anew. I love this article a lot because it really shines a light on that positive side that I didn't see at first and it made it visible and clear and I had this, I was visually picturing exactly what he wrote and it's, it's, so, it's so true. Let's use soccer for example, if you want to be a professional soccer player but for some reason you just didn't make the team and in the end you end up meeting your, the girl of your dreams at one of your soccer games and you end up falling in love with her and spending the rest of life with her. That's basically how your old dream fertilizes your new self and it fertilizes your future because it enables it to happen. I want you all to know that you're all amazing human beings no matter what people say and if you don't think that, I'm telling you right now that you're amazing, there's always going to be someone that wishes they were in your position so be thankful. I want you to believe in yourself, give yourself credit, forgive yourselves and remember that things would always be worse. Before you all go to bed tonight, write down three things that happened in your day that were positive. And you can do that as many nights as you like, but you'll start to see a change and you'll start to feel more positive. In the comments, I want you guys to write down if you guys agree with what I said and also what you guys do uh, to make yourself positive 
in these negative situations. And I hope this video was helpful. See you guys soon. That was awesome.